In this video, we're gonna do a full masterclass on how to leverage LinkedIn Sales Navigator to the fullest and help you reach your goals. Whether it's for sales, business development, or recruiting, Sales Navigator is a powerful tool that sifts through nearly a billion LinkedIn profiles to find your perfect prospects. In this video, I'll show you how to search for your ideal leads, build lead lists, save your searches, message your leads, create and manage alerts, and cover a ton of hidden features that most people don't even know about. If there's something that I didn't cover, or you have some questions about, just drop them in the comments and I'll respond to as many as I can. Okay, so let's just get right into it. So if you haven't already, you'll need to create an account and sign up for one of the Sales Navigator plans or start your free 30-day trial. Once you're on a plan and you're logged in, you'll be brought to the home page. This is where you'll get alerts from people previously added to your lists. We'll come back to this later after we've done our search. And there's two main types of searches you can do, lead searches for prospects and account searches for companies. Depending on your goals, one might be more beneficial than the other, but let's just get started with a lead search. If you just click on the search bar, you'll see recent searches and all of your saved searches. This will be handy for you when you come back to it later. And of course, you could also use a search bar to just search for a specific person or company, but let's create a larger list by creating a lead search. So click on lead filters to get to the search filters. You'll see a few different filter options grouped together by company, roles, personal, buyer intent, best path in, recent updates, and workflow. Within each of these sections, there are specific filters that you can apply. For example, under company, you can include or exclude specific companies, filter by headcount, include or exclude past companies that your leads worked at, company types, whether you specifically wanna search for public, private, nonprofit, or even self-employed companies, and the company HQ location. In this example, I'm gonna search for sales directors at software companies, and then I'll filter further from there. I'm going to go to current job title and search for sales directors. You can select to either include or exclude any of these search terms. Maybe you want to exclude director of sales operations, for example. Okay, next let's head to industry under the personal section and search for software companies. And here's a little trick. If you just search for software, you won't get the results you're probably looking for. Instead, try adding technology, information, and internet to this filter. Okay, so we have a ton of people in the search result. We're gonna wanna filter this down even further. So let's add some location filters. I'll add a couple major cities that I want to target first. Next, let's find our best path in with these people by adding a connection filter. You can go all the way up to a third degree connection, but you might have a better chance with a second degree connection. Next, you want to find people who are likely going to be most active on LinkedIn and actually engage with you. So you can go down to the recent update section and toggle on change jobs or post it on LinkedIn. Now this is great, but you can always play around with some even more filters. You can filter down to certain company sizes with the company headcount filter if you're looking for specific company sizes or you can even exclude nonprofits and self-employed companies if you want. But by now you should have a pretty extremely targeted list of leads that you can reach out to. But before we message them or do anything else, let's just save the search so you don't need to remember all of these filters that you selected if you ever wanna come back to the search later. Just click on the save search toggle at the top to save your list. If you wanna rename or delete the search, go to save searches, then click on the pencil icon next to your save search. Now you can always come back to the search and even modify it later on if you want. Okay, so let's move on to saving our leads. So here's our lead list and there's a few things that you can do here. Of course, you can save your lead to a list or create a new lead list. Once you save a lead, Sales Navigator will suggest similar people so that you can also save them if you'd like. Once you've created your list and saved the lead, you'll find them in your lead list up in the leads tab. You can also click on the three dots to connect these leads on LinkedIn and view their profile to learn more about them. Next, let's talk about messaging your leads. You'll see a message icon next to the save button. Each sales navigator plan comes with in-mail credits that allow you to directly message people outside of your connections. This means that you don't need to connect with them first in order to send them a message. And the cool thing about this is that those in-mail messages actually get featured in their messages inbox on LinkedIn. So it's pretty hard for them to miss your message. And here's a little hack. For every response that you get from in-mail messages, you'll get an additional credit towards more in-mails. So this means if you send 20 in-mails and 20 people respond, 
you'll actually get 10 more in-mails. So you'll want to optimize your messages for responses from your prospects. So this means that sending personalized open-ended questions would be the best way to reach out through InMail. You can easily get to all of your messages by heading up to the messaging tab at the top of the page. There's another tab at the top of your page for your account list. This is generated by Sales Navigator and includes all of your saved accounts. You'll get a list of companies, connection paths, alerts, and a space to write notes, as well as lead recommendations at their company. As I mentioned earlier, you can also do an account search by using the account filters button in the search bar. This is where you can filter by company attributes like annual revenue, company headcount, location, industry, and more. And you can also use the spotlights to filter by recent activities. Okay, let's head back to the homepage to check out the alerts from our new leads. Think of the Sales Navigator homepage as your news feed just for your leads. This is where you'll see when a lead accepts your connection request, engages with yours or your company's posts, or when they start a new position. These are all great reasons to engage with your leads by commenting on their posts or messaging them directly about one of their updates. You can bookmark or remove alerts, sort and filter your alerts, and you can also manage your alert preferences by hitting that gear icon. You can also integrate Sales Navigator to most CRMs. This turns Sales Navigator into an extension of your CRM and turns all of LinkedIn into your business development database. But unfortunately, you're going to need to be on the most expensive plan to enable this integration with your CRM. But luckily, there is a less expensive and super easy way to connect all of your leads to your CRM without having to upgrade your account first. In fact, this even works on the free trial of Sales Navigator. There's a very simple way to not only connect your Sales Navigator leads to your CRM, but it will also find all of their verified phone numbers and email addresses and then export all of that contact information to your CRM, a spreadsheet, and you can even send that data to thousands of other tools using Zapier. I made a full guide on how to export your Sales Navigator leads using Wizza for free in this video right here. Have a magical day and I'll see you in that next video.